Okay, so I've got this uh, um, presentation here for you guys on the cyclotron. Uh, just going to let it go through with the narration that comes with this uh, um, PowerPoint, but I might add in some things just when I go for it. So here's this guy with his cyclotron. You can see it's quite a small um, you know, particle accelerator. If you look at some of the really big particle accelerators around yeah, they're massive, they're in huge buildings. But this one here, you can see it's quite a small sort of unit here. So I'll just sort of step through it and see how we go. Okay, so you can see here, they're going to explain this themselves, but you can see this is where the ions, the charged particles come out. And the first place they come out through this um, this source, it's just basically like a tube really. And they come out here and they follow this path that goes along here. And there's a potential difference uh, placed, like an electric field between these two D-shaped um metal uh, sort of hemi uh, sort of semicircles here uh, and eventually the accelerated particle comes out here so this is a, a vacuum so obviously a vacuum chamber there's some electrodes here the magnetic field you'll see it a little bit better uh, in the next slides but this is the the gap here across where the charged particles are accelerated and we'll just see how he explains this uh, in a, see how he goes. Okay, so there's the north-south pole. So there's a uniform magnetic field acting here going in this direction here. Of the, uh, You can see me moving there. So these Ds are hollow, okay? And so as they move through here, this part, pardon me, the only uh, field they experience is the uh, uniform magnetic field. When they're moving through here, this is when the electric field is turned on between these two D shapes. When it's in here, they turn it off. So this is where you'll see later, it's got like a, what we call this a, um, a square shape wave is put through here. So we'll just keep going here. Uh, see what else he's got to say. Okay, so let's see if we can understand what's going on here. I'll give his explanation as well. But so as they initially come in here, so this is where the iron source comes in, and it comes in at a constant velocity. When it comes, as it gets in here, this is this square wave I was talking about. So it's time specifically. So when the particle gets here, the potential difference across this gap is this high value. Well, it's basically it's on. Here's where there's no potential difference, and it's switched on. So when it gets to here, there's an electric field here. So it accelerates. It picks up speed. Okay, so um, 
it gets a little bit more speed and so but when it gets here it stops this the field is turned off and it stops accelerating and it moves in you know in the circular path that um, charged particles do move in when they've got uh, in a constant magnetic field so the magnetic field we can't sort of see it, it would be like arrows going into the screen here so okay it first moves here in this circular path and then gets here when it gets here this uh, field is this electric field is turned on again so it accelerates so by the time it gets to here it's going even faster and what that means is that the radius of its circular path is bigger so now when it goes around it doesn't just go back to here it goes back out to here so when it gets and it's going even faster when it gets here the field turns on the electric field turns on again accelerates it so it's now going even faster so with when it's moving here it's in a constant speed but when it gets to this little gap here the electric field potential difference gets turned on and it accelerates and picks up speed so and then moves in an even bigger arc and then this process keeps going on and it has to be timed perfectly with this square wave being applied it's a voltage wave basically being applied across these uh, hollow d plates so let's see how he explains it anyway Yeah, okay, so it's what you can see saying here, even though it's in these areas, each time it's accelerated, you don't need necessarily to have a big voltage across here. So if you don't need a big voltage, you don't need a lot of power. Okay, you can get away with a small voltage, but still have a uniform, a fairly strong uniform field. So basically, all of these places, it's getting accelerated by the same small potential field. A potential uh, electric field here so it's just the little bits of acceleration are all adding on to each other each time it goes through okay we'll keep going okay Okay, so there's a little list of um, sources if you want to get hold of uh, some stuff about the cyclotron. So having this cyclic, that's why it obviously comes this term cyclotron, rather than have a big linear accelerator, this circular cycles can mean you still get very, very high speeds, uh, but the unit itself isn't, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be kilometers long because of its cyclic nature. Okay. Hopefully that's given us a bit of an introduction into how the cyclotron works.